Oxford Street this afternoon. Around 270 buses use it every hour. And according to this man, that means it's not a safe place to be. The bus hit me on the side of the head and burst both my lungs and threw me into a deep coma. And last I knew, you need two lungs to breathe. Tom Kearney has kept his brain x-ray. And this picture shows him recovering from the coma. He's put a video on the internet calling for a bus-free Oxford Street. And he can't believe Transport for London is now ruling out that option. I say fire them all and hire people that will come up with a solution. Those buses are empty. If you're funneling empty buses through a very heavily pedestrianised area, then you have a problem. Think about some other way to do it. A series of traffic-free weekends were hailed as a success by many. But Transport for London now says a permanent ban on buses would be impossible because two new bus stations would have to be built in the West End where there's little space. We'd have to take a huge slice of Hyde Park out to do that at the Marble Arch end and we'd probably have to have a sort of multi-storey bus station at Tottenham Court Road to do it at the other end. So that doesn't sound like a really good idea to me at all. But this isn't the end of the matter. The new West End company, which represents many retailers, says its lobby for something to be done about the buses goes on. Certainly there's a lot of encouraging conversations going on behind the scenes with the Mayor's office, with TfL. We're very pleased they're coming to a conference we're hosting on the 15th of November uh, where we can continue the debate and really work on solutions. We're not letting this drop. We're not letting this drop, no.